All right, so we're going to open up with an update that includes some good news. But don't get excited. It's twim good news. So it's just the barest minimum non-evil thing happening. This story starts about three years ago when 26-year-old Kandil Balak, who had been dubbed Pakistan's Kim Kardashian, was strangled to death in an honor killing. The murderer was her brother, Muhammad Wasim Azim. The motive was her autonomy. He even admitted as much when he was caught. He said, quote, I am proud of what I did. I drugged her first, then I killed her. She was bringing dishonor to our family, end quote. He further justified his actions by saying, quote, girls are born to stay home and follow traditions. My sister never did that, end quote. Now, with a confession like that, you wouldn't think they'd need a trial. But this is Pakistan, so they did. In fact, at the time he committed this heinous act, it wasn't even particularly illegal. Sure, there was a law in Pakistan against murder, but there was a loophole that would allow the family of the victim to pardon the killer. Well, in the wake of this particularly public case, the nation's parliament unanimously passed a law rescinding that right. Well, on Friday, that new and improved law got its first test, and Condil's killer was sentenced to life in prison. And that's a good thing. It's good that Pakistan has decided at long last that murdering women is illegal, even if they're uppity. That being said, Muhammad wasn't alone in this. Sure, he's the one that killed her, but several other men assisted in either planning his crime or keeping him in hiding afterwards. And all of them were found not guilty. So yeah, Pakistan is willing to punish the killer, but they don't want to go overboard. Still, any step in the right direction is worth celebrating, especially in that part of the world. And speaking of crazy parts of the world run by religious zealots, our next story comes from Brazil. You thought I was going to say America, didn't you? Anyway, so there's a billionaire Brazilian bishop named Adir Macedo who made his money through being a blatant fucking fraud, like even for a bishop. His church has been involved in money laundering, child sex trafficking, and outright theft. But apparently that's not enough to dig him out from behind the pulpit. Well, he made news for a different reason this week. During a recent sermon, he reminded the young ladies in his flock not to go to college. After all, if they did that, they'd risk being smarter than their husbands, and then how would they ever find happiness? Other than, you know, all the ways in which people find happiness. So, newsflash jackass, women can be smarter than their husbands regardless of their education. In fact, given the standard that you're setting for your gender, they almost can't help it. Anyway, I'm going to go hit myself in the head with something until I'm dumb enough to be happy. Until then, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.